What's going on YouTube? Quick video. I want to talk about what I'm doing for the bear run. Now, this might not relate to everybody uh, in cryptocurrency. Um, maybe it's only relevant uh, for people that want to create businesses. Uh, but I do think it's important to talk about. So you guys know what I'm doing. Um, if you guys uh, excuse the background, I'm at my brother's house. I'm helping him move in. Look at that beautiful land. I want land one day. There's 10 acres back there. It's really, really nice. Um, but yeah, so I think people get things mixed up a lot. So people assume that it, it's, it's almost like, uh, you know, when I make these videos, they want me to be something I'm not. Um, so just to be clear with everybody, you know, when they, when I say chase two rabbits, catch none, I really mean that. Right. So as an influencer, you know, building an audience, making videos, spreading crypto, getting people into crypto, that's a whole job in itself. Right. So a lot of people get mad when, for example, um, someone says something like, oh, this guy doesn't make money off of cryptocurrency, he makes money off of selling his coaching. Right. So people say that a lot. Um, and what people don't get is everybody plays their own role. So my role is specifically being able to um, aggregate people together. So I have, you know, the professional traders that that's all they do all day is they just simply uh, short term scalp trade. And then I play my role as more of a position trader or a longer term trader, right? So I'm usually holding trades for typically anywhere from three months to 24 months, uh, which is different from somebody that can make, you know, profit every single day or even hourly. I, we have even some people in our group that does it, uh, you know, by the minute, right? So again, everybody plays their roles and people always want me to be something I'm not, right? So, you know, just to be clear with everybody, what I really do well is I can aggregate talented people in the cryptocurrency space. Um, and, to, and this is why I'm going to tell you guys what I'm going to be doing uh, for the bear run and, you know, how I'm creating a nine figure strategy. My goal here is to make anywhere from uh, 50 to 100 million dollars next cycle. And again, maybe it's not for everybody, but I know I'm going to hype some people up. If I can make 50 to 100 million, then I know you could at least make one, two million dollars. Um, so just to be clear, my role is I'm an investor, more more long-term type of guy. Um, but I do have guys that I just do it for real. They just do it for real. They have consistent strategies. Um, and I'm never gonna act, try to be somebody I'm not. Because again, chase two rabbits, catch none. Um, I'd rather just be that guy can, that can get talented people together. So um, that's my role. Now, what am I doing uh, moving forward? So if you guys didn't know, I have a website called coinpix.io. Um, and coinpix is basically a coin market cap, coin gecko competitor. Now. The reason I went this route is very specific. Um, you know, I don't want to bite off uh, too much, right? I don't, I don't want to take a huge stab, right? So a lot of times people are arrogant. They think they know more than they do and they create a coin, for example. And then now we see all the scams arising and we see all the horrible leaders that did it for the wrong reasons and that were not qualified. We see them coming out the woodworks with bad marketing tactics. We see them, you know, um, their projects going belly up, getting investigated by FBI because they, they sold out. Um, we see them dumping on their own, you know, liquidity pool uh, to, you know, pay their dev developers a lot of times. What you'll see happen is in the bear run, the reason why you see these big down spikes is not because of retail. It's not because of the normal person. It's because the coin project needs to take profit to pay their developers through the bear run. So they have to time it, right? So a lot of these things, um, you know, as a 27-year-old, um, I don't know if I'm, I'm not, I'm going to be humble and say I'm not qualified to do that. Uh, we see a lot of people even younger than me and less experienced dropping coins and even NFT collections making, you know, $20 million um, and then, you know, exit scamming everybody, right? So I want to be humble about it. I want to make a data analytics website um, and I want to start getting into selling pricing data. So I want to sell pricing data um, and we're doing it for two ways. We're doing it uh, business to consumer. So I, business consumer basically means, you know, I'm selling pricing data. It's not selling, but I'm, I'm showing you guys pricing data like CoinMarketCap, CoinGecko, right? So CoinMarketCap, uh, CoinGecko has a lot of problems in my personal opinion. I think uh, to a certain extent, uh, they censor coins, they'll censor coins and they'll put out specific coins so that, you know, it's related to them. Because if you guys know CoinMarketCap is owned by Binance, CoinGecko, you have to pay to get on there. Uh, so we want to do that a little bit different. We think that we could be a little bit more unbiased the same way I run my channel. And then I'm doing the second way, which is business to business. So business to business is I'm essentially selling uh, pricing data of various assets 
to uh, quantitative hedge funds as well as um, you know other websites that use uh, price, right? So like one example of a website could be like a coin that wants to show their price on top of their website. They can uh, connect to my API and uh, yeah, I'll send the correct price in real time. So it's kind of like a node, it's kind of like an Oracle, but not really. Um, but we really wanna do it in a customizable way to sell it to quantitative hedge funds. So look, uh, you know, people like don't do this. What they would rather do is go on YouTube and, you know, say something they're not, pretend like, you know, the, the I, I used to be a trader. You know, I used to do this way more aggressive. I, that's pretty much all I did. But as soon as more things came on my table, I got nine people I got to look after and help manage. At one point, it was 22 people. I had to let go of a lot of people. Um, you know, I got a whole community of people that, um, you know, have to quality control the product, they have to, the marketing, right? When you have nine people, payroll's bigger, so you got to go harder at marketing, right? These things, you have to take it in consideration. And, you know, I used to trade more aggressive, but now, uh, you know, I, I'm more of like a, a more like a position trader. Um, and I'm still making money with it. But, you know, yeah, I just want to explain to you guys, everybody got to play their role. And I think to a certain extent, there's kind of a disconnect because a lot of you want to make money trading. And I do agree you could do it. Uh, but me personally, you know, like I'm spending most of my time business development. Um, so on the channel, I'm going to be talking more about entrepreneurship. I'm going to be showing you guys how to push through these tough times. You know, I'm going to show you uh, the back end. And, you know, when I originally started this channel, most people don't know this. I didn't start it for cryptocurrency. My first videos were me walking in business to business, selling all natural supplements, savage mode. I was broke. I showed everybody, you know, I, was, I put a tweet out one time. I was like, everybody wants to say they came from nothing, but they have no proof showing anything, right? I have videos of me going through thick and thin everything. Um, you know, you can go back to my old videos and watch it for yourself. So just to be clear with everybody, I'm still talking about crypto no matter what, because I'm, I'm making crypto businesses. Um, but it's just going to be a little bit different. Um, right now, as a position trader, my only goal is to catch the bottom uh, with very strong altcoins. So it's not like like you'd be back in the day when the market was going up. It was, you know, I can make altcoin videos because people can't get wrecked. But right now, it's like I'm not going to make altcoin videos. Everything people are going to get wrecked. I'm not going to do it anymore. And then if I do do it, uh, communities start attacking me. <laughs> so uh, at this point, I think it's just more productive for everybody if I just speak what I'm actually doing and what I'm actually, you know, um, you know, learning through, right? We're learning whatever, however you want to call it. What am, what am I actually executing on? That is probably the most qualified answer. I will have uh, some of my coaches hop on my channel and they could talk about strategy, technical analysis. Some, some of them are going to talk about scalp trading, day trading, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but I don't, like, you have to be very committed to do these things. I would never recommend it unless you really, really devote a lot of your time and energy. So, Hopefully you guys stick around for sure. It's gonna be very interesting. I'm gonna be showing you guys really the back end of uh, you know, a huge company or potential of a huge company. Um, we did millions uh, with my first company. This one's gonna do big numbers and you guys will know everything too. Nobody documents it like this. I don't think I've ever seen one influencer document their whole entire experience on this level where I'm explaining to you intrinsic details about the company. I think it'll be very interesting. Uh, for new people uh, that maybe want to start a business in crypto, that want to get that motivation, that want to push through, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and yeah, I'll keep aggregating high quality coaches um, and keep Fundamental Secrets running. And and I think I'm going to find more um, and develop new systems. I'm also uh, in Fundamental Secrets, I'm going to be making, uh, you know, a, a, a mini course. Uh, it's going to be called FS 2.0, where we're going to be showing you guys how to do on-chain investigation, as well as take the data. For example, like, I, I told you guys I'm selling data to quantitative hedge funds. So I think it would be very interesting if I show you guys how you can take that data and make, um, you know, charts. Uh, you know, I, I don't know if you guys know who the real plan B is. He made a stock to flow model. But if you notice, the best traders in the game know how to take the data themselves and make their own charts. And a lot of them don't even use TradingView. They actually make their own data science charts. So I think it would be really cool. I know how to do it. It would be really cool if I could show you guys how to do that. And if I could show you on-chain investigation and looking at transactions, looking at credibility on chain, being able to dissect liquidity pools. This is how I've been able to call out so many scams. Um, and I can see through all the fraud um, and all the BS is by being able to look into these things. So that's like next level advanced stuff. I've been in the work. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Look, um, FS 1.0 took me about two months to make. This one, I'm already been at it for like four months and it's very hard to do, but I'm getting through it. 
um, it's not easy to make these courses. And back in the day, I had a lot less, um, uh, you know, on my plate. So it was easier for me to make these things. But yeah, all that's happening. It's still there. Um, but I will say, though, 70% of my time is, is definitely building out um, this data and analytics company. Um, and yeah, just keeping up with FF, FS, making sure everybody's on point, making sure my team's on point. Um, you know, everybody's uh, making money, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and yeah, um, we're just gonna have to slow down the old point videos. I don't know what you guys want me to tell you. I'll still talk about it though, but I'm gonna be very uh, safe when I talk about it because it can get a little bit out of control, um, especially when people just don't have every detail. I know some of you are really smart and you know when I'm saying things and you know, you know what to do uh, when I talk about, you know, sometimes I gotta say things very nicely um, and, you, and you can see through it. You, you guys know me, uh, but some people just don't. Some people, when I make a title, they think that like I should buy the coin now. They don't even watch my video, just buy the coin now. So I just gotta be very careful because my goal here is not to wreck everybody. So let me just give you guys an overview really quickly. Very simply put, you know, I practice what I preach. I'm not gonna preach something I'm not. And right now I am not day trading. I am not scalp trading. I am position trading, which right now specifically requires me to wait for the bottom. So I'm gonna be waiting for the bottom. I'm not gonna put in shorts. I do hire coaches that do shorts right now as we speak and they're way better than me. They do shorts. They should be working at a hedge fund, but they're working for us. Um, and scalps, they right now are making a whole bunch of money. The bear run is more about a waiting game and finding the bottom. And so that's what I'm going to be doing specifically. And I'm going to spend the majority of my time building out a cryptocurrency business and then giving you guys all the back end of the cryptocurrency business, everything that's going on. Um, and, you know, maybe you can get some motivation from that to build your own business. Look, not everybody's an entrepreneur. So it's not the most popular thing. I'm going to be clear with you guys. The most, the best best thing for marketing right now is if i just keep making all coin videos that's the best thing for marketing but again i don't do this channel i'm not making this channel to to be the most popular i'm making this channel just to show you guys my life as much as i possibly can give you all the transparency you know the back end details of everything um and you know that's how i started it like you know some of those old videos man i was broke like you guys don't understand go look at the old videos i was broke and i was still at it i did not care a lot of these guys that come up they don't start recording until they already made it um and, you know, I don't even care if I, if anything ha like happens now, I'll show you guys the truth always. I'll give you everything. Um, so yeah, that's the gist there. Hopefully you guys like that transparency. It's not going to be for everybody. You know, not everybody. I would say if there's a hundred people, maybe there's two of them that are real entrepreneurs out of a hundred people. So this is not the most popular thing, but at least you guys get to witness uh, greatness in the making, um, as well as witness somebody build a nine figure company from, from basically scratch, from basically scratch. I don't really have that much. I don't really have that much. Um, and if you guys want me to talk more about the team, leave a comment below. Let me know. That's it for this video. If you like the quality of this content, hit like. If you don't, leave some constructive criticism. Subscribe for more video updates. And like I always say, if you don't get with it, you will get left behind. Thanks for watching this. Catch you in the next one.